Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Scorpio. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for Scorpio. Scorpio sign, Moon rising and Venus signs. Let's see what do we have for you guys. What do we have for Scorpio? <clears throat> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for you guys? In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome of ice love notes your future love as well as guidance from spirit so do check it out i'll be linking it below for you guys i like it already Ooh, i do so you're wanting to free yourself from something that does not serve you anymore um emotional freedom, a wish fulfillment, protecting your boundaries, working towards your goals. I like this energy already. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot with the moon, a lot of cancer uh, energy. Oopsie. Cancer energy. So, I really think, um, Scorpio, that... Your energy right now is very action oriented. You haven't got time to think. You just want to do what you want to do. You want to achieve things. You want to get up and get going. Okay. And I like it. So apparently you're letting go of something with the full card here. What is that about? I see a partnership coming up for you though. I see some sort of a legal settlement here for you maybe. I see good money. I see a wish fulfillment. Right now your focus is a lot on releasing you know, releasing what burdens you, relinquishing control, letting go, because I feel like something here has definitely burdened you. Fool is clarified by the four of wands. So this is something big that you're headed towards, but you have to take that leap of faith towards it. Um, this is um, a wish fulfillment. This is something good. This is a big good news. This could be working towards your dreams, a house, a car, something of that sort. But again, you know, a lot of stability or a sense of um, celebration attached to a new beginning. To me, it looks like something seems to have confined you. That's why you're wanting to feel free or you're wanting a new beginning. Scorpio. What is the Six of Pentacles? I really feel like you're not going to sit there and take somebody's breadcrumbs, <laughs> okay? Um, there is somebody you may have dealt with or a certain situation that was seeming to be very stuck and it is still bothering you because I feel like this could be money related for some of you. There's a money related issue that is um, keeping you stuck or this could be anything else that kept you stuck but because I feel like in a certain situation, there was a lot of wondering, hoping, wishing involved. Um, you're wanting to be independent. You're not going to be chasing anybody. You're done chasing. Right now, you're making things happen for yourself. There's fast-paced movement in your life. Um, a great time to manifest things for yourself. Kind of come out of this emotional discontent. I feel like there is something that could still be bothering you when you think about it. You know, somebody could be, something could be making you feel a certain type of a way. Um...
What is the Four of Cups? What is the Four of Cups? <clears throat> For some of you, there's that emotional discontent attached to a person who is very closed off right now. And you wonder why. You wonder what changed between you and them. It kind of bothers you from time to time. It's I'm by no means saying that you're dwelling on this energy because you're not. But you do wonder what happened here. What is the Nine of Cups? You could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit full of themselves. A little bit or a lot. I do not know. <laughs> um, walking away here. Again, you know, walking away from something to find your emotional freedom, to find your balance. With the Nine of Cups energy, this is a wish fulfillment. This is the ultimate happiness. So you're finding that letting go is bringing you more happiness than staying. But you wonder, mm, why did it change like that? There is somebody who may have walked away from you. And then you decided to not give in. What is the Two of Cups energy? Queen of Wands. Wow, okay, so <sighs> King of Wands and the Queen of Wands together, but in a different position. This is the divine counterpart energy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna see what is your person's energy in a bit, but to me it looks like there is a union here in the future with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Wands. It is going to happen when you least expect it. Because you're not, you know, you're not that open to this right now. Yeah, ten of wands, seven of wands. It feels like you're doing things that make you happy. You're releasing past burdens. Um, you're taking care of a lot of things in your life, aren't you? It also looks like you're protecting yourself from something. Like you're saying no to something. Some of you could be moving or planning to move, but there's a burden here with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Love is surrounding you at this time. Scorpio. There's more than one person that I see here for you. Somebody's arriving, somebody's approaching you. Um, you want somebody to show more love or you wanted for somebody to show more love than they did. Page of Pentacles. Well, I feel like Scorpio, your focus is a lot on releasing past burdens, making that decision finally. And with the Page of Pentacles energy, I really feel like this has a lot to do with... Um, Making things right. Making things right again. Starting fresh and willing to start fresh. This could be a new business project, a new investment related stuff. Um, I don't know, purchasing something big. What is the justice about taking care of a legal settlement? Maybe two of swords. Could be connecting with the Libra. Oh, okay. You actually see. Five of Swords. Yeah, you're done with somebody's mind games. <sighs> Scorpio, you're so done with somebody's mind games. But I still see that you will... Well, I see you falling in this trap again, somehow. Even though I see a very balanced approach, I see you falling in this trap again, somehow. 
So be mindful of people around you. Be mindful of those unwanted thoughts because there's something that is on in your mind that keeps bugging you, but not necessarily the reality. Your advice, the Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, focusing on stability. This is marriage. This is stability. This is something to celebrate and a big, big uh, wish fulfillment, okay? This has also a lot to do with... What makes you happy? This is also some something about staying faithful to your goals. If there is something, Scorpio, that you always wanted to do, let me tell you that this is a time period for you to do that. Something here is telling you to be more um, pragmatic and be more like, have a strategic approach towards achieving something. Because this is like you're determined to achieve something, but you don't have the plan quite yet. I see you detaching. I see you moving forward. For some of you, I even see traveling or movement of some sort. But this is a month for you to focus on getting a step closer to your stability. Yeah, six and one, three ones. I see success in something like um, victory, success, reward, especially in your money. And I even see love. I see you getting that recognition, that reward, especially if your work is, uh, you know, of that sort where um, maybe you have a business or you're online doing something. I do not know. I do see you getting successful. Look, because we have the page of pentacles, that is where you're starting. And it's coming towards the king and the ten of pentacles. So this is a lot of stability. It's like you're starting something and you're building on it. And along with that, I do see love as well. But I also feel like the challenge for you this month could be getting entangled. Getting entangled in the unwanted. Unwanted or something... Um, I don't know, something of that sort. Be mindful of your thoughts. Uh, prosperity lies ahead. Absolutely, Taurus energy. So something prosperous is coming in for you. Um, successful, this is heart chakra, but this is also talking about something that has to do with, of course, your prosperity, your money, something um, grounded, Taurus energy, earthy, material, something like that. Let's see. The rest we will clarify in the extended. So do check it out. It will be linked below in the extended. I will see how is your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love, as well as your advice from spirit and any answer to the question that you may have on your mind or any question that you may have on your mind. And we'll see what is the answer to that. Okay. Sometimes I can't talk, okay. What do we have for Scorpio? Keep an open mind and romantic feelings. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and romantic feelings. Almost like you're being told to keep your options open, to keep an open mindset. There is love coming in for sure. That's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for Scorpio. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended version link below to find out what's happening next for you guys. Take care and bye-bye.